Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me with my deceased cat, Mickey. Here today to tell you about a really cool Android app for your Chromebook. This is Adobe Photoshop Mix as experienced on my Chromebook. So let's mix two images and make a new creation. How about it? So we hit the plus. Choose device to get a file already there, but you see you have other options, including accessing your Adobe Creative Cloud and your device camera. And let's use the base image that I want, which is this one of 30th Street Station from Wikipedia. I'll link it in the description. Now I can crop, I can adjust, and the adjustment options are pretty cool. That's not what I wanna show you today. I wanna show you two functions. One is the looks and two is the blend. So if I go to looks, I can apply all of these uh, filters. And so let's say I wanted to make this, this rectangle of 30th Street Station with the flag projected on it really pop. Well, what if I made the background all kind of sepia toned? Well, I can do that right here. And now if you notice everything's sepia toned, but I have a smart pen option. And so what I do is I click that and then with my stylus, I'm gonna use my stylus, I start drawing on and tapping on the image. And if you notice, as I tap, look what's happening. Parts of this image are becoming sepia toned. So it's only getting, and if you notice, by the way, right here, this is actually really well done. Sometimes it's a little tricky as far as the borders, but you can see I'm really, and it, this works better with just a regular old plain stylus. Um, I, this is my mouse, and then this to the left is my stylus. Uh, my style, this Chromebook does not have stylus integration, um, but it, it's just a plain old stylus from Amazon, and that works out well. I'm not gonna finish the whole thing, but you see how you can make one element of an image pop using that filter and then using the smart pen. So let me tap check. And it's called Adobe Photoshop Mix. So let's blend. Let's say I want to make this look like a rainy night. Okay, so I'll add an image layer. And again, I can use my device camera or whatever I have, but let me use my uh, save photos to my device. And I'll get this image. And again, I'll put that in the description as well. And if you notice, it's a little small. And so what I can do is, and it actually says, pinch it. And so I'm going to do that now with my two fingers to expand it a little bit. And if you notice it's looking wonky, don't worry about that. We'll fix that. And I'll click out of it. And then I will click blend. And here, if you notice, I'm blending it to make it look like it's like a rainy window, but let's do this really like a good way. So let me do it. Well, let me use this filter and then use the opacity and then slide that down and let's see, let's see if that goes. I hit check and then I go back here. My image now has the water, the raindrops on it like it's on a window, but it also has this, you know, sepia tone, but then the other thing is sticking out really, really cool. I think the applications for this for one, blending images and two, making certain elements pop with that looks tool. So, so cool. And this all works on a Chromebook and it would work on an iPad too. Nice and easy. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.